So in our previous video, we created this table and then we described it, verifying that it actually worked. Now I want to populate it. And remember we talked about in the previous video that I'm going to be populating this uh, data or this table with data from another table. Yeah, well, actually two other tables. But that we normally wouldn't want to do that for permanent storage, but that this is temporary and it's because it violates that rule of single instant storage. Uh, but in this case, we're going to do this as an example because sometimes we will need to do that. We will need to migrate data or in some instances, uh, I've had instances where I have imported data into a temporary table and then moved it from the temporary table into the permanent table and then dropped the temporary table. And then a little while later, you know, the next week, I re-import the new data into new temporary tables. And and so what we're doing here or moving data from one table to another is something that there actually are some real good applications for. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by selecting the data that I want. So I'm going to create a new file, and this is where I'm going to do my select. But this is the information that I want. I want country code and country name from the country table. I want the capital and the district from my city table. So I'm going to start by doing a select query. So I'm going to select, and I want country dot code and country dot name and then city dot name and city dot district from country as co and city as ci I don't need as there ci where co dot code equals CI dot code. And actually, I can just join these based on, I can just do CO dot capital equals, so the country capital equals the city. And I don't remember what that field is. Let me look at this real quick. Describe city. I'm just going to remind myself of what that field name is. It's city dot ID. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what we're doing here. So my city table, I have the ID number and then the name, the country code, and the district. In my, so I'm showing the city name and the city district. In my country table, I have the code, the name of the country, and then down here I've got this capital as an INT value, and that registers back to the, took away my description of city, back to the city ID. So what this should give me, let's see if this does what I want. Let me execute it. And I have error code ci.name isn't recognized. Well, this could be y. And country.capital. Let me see if I can spell capital correctly. C-A-P-I-T-A-L. There we go. Okay, so now we should have for every country, we should have the name of the country and then the district that it's in. Now, this is the information that I want. I want the country code, I want the name of the country, I want the name of the capital, and I want the name of the district. In fact, I'm just going to clean this up here as country and as capital. And now that's going to show a little bit better. The code, the country, the capital, the district. Now, this is the information that I want to insert into this table as country code, country, capital, and district. So now that I have selected the data, now I can do an insert into. Now, the insert into is what we use to add data, add new data to a table. And in this case, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to insert into, and then my table that I'm inserting into is country underscore capital. And that's what I created right here. Insert into country capital. And then I'm going to do an open parentheses. Whoops, wrong query. 
open parentheses, and here I'm going to use this as a subquery. And then I'm going to close my subquery. So what that's doing is that's saying insert into country capital all of this information. Now I want to make sure that the information I'm inserting into is correct. So that's why I did the select query first, make sure I get it all right. And then once I've got it all right and I know I've got the right data, then I can try to do my insert into. And here's what it says. Uh, insert into country 232 rows affected. So let's see if this worked. I'm going to select everything from country underscore capital. And if this works, all of this data is now in my country capital table. So that's how we do it. Start with a select query. Once you get your select data correct, then you can do an insert into. And we'll do this if we're moving data into a temporary table, which is what we're doing here. We're going to work with a temporary table for a while and then drop it. It's what we do if we're taking data from a temporary table and putting it into a, a, a permanent storage location, a permanent table, like we would if we were importing data from an external source. So. There you go. Select your data and then do an insert into around it and make that select a subquery and then verify to make sure that it works correctly.